Assalamu alaikum students hope you all are doing good this is your islamic unit and i am your teacher miss ambreen today's our topic is sunnah of the holy prophet peace be upon him the word sunnah means a system a path or an example in islam it means the practice of the holy prophet peace be upon him or the example of his life The life of Holy Prophet peace be upon him is based on the Holy Quran the book of Allah it is therefore a perfect model and example for all people and for all times all aspects of the Holy Prophet's peace be upon him life have been recorded all his actions and doings for example how he walked talked ate and drank prayed etc have been recorded his whole life both at home and outside was fully known to his companions when the holy prophet peace be upon him started preaching islam he had to suffer torture and persecution at the hands of the unbelievers he was offered all kinds of temptation but he never compromised finally he had to leave his birthplace makkah for the sake of truth the holy prophet peace be upon him was a leader a teacher a ruler husband and friend there of all his companions loved him dearly they never hesitated to lay down their lives at his call his conduct and behavior impressed even his bitterest enemies when he had to fight he fought for the truth the holy prophet peace be upon him practiced what he preached his life was a perfect example of total obedience to allah's commands his wife hazrat aisha said that the character of the holy prophet peace be upon him was the holy quran whatever the quran likes the prophet muhammad peace be upon him liked and whatever it dislikes the prophet muhammad peace be upon him disliked too he was the bravest and most generous of all men whenever someone asked him for anything he would give it at once he had a very gentle and forgiving nature was his companions asked him to curse the unbelievers he said i have not been sent to curse i have been sent as a mercy he always prayed to allah to forgive his enemies and never cursed anyone he was polite and gentle in manners he talked with grace he never hurt anyone's feelings he would visit the sick and attend funerals he used to walk with the poor and the slaves when he met people he always greeted them first and shook hands when someone invited him for a meal he would accept it the holy prophet peace be upon him was just and honest in his dealings he always spoke the truth due to his honesty the quraish used to call him sadiq the truthful and amin the trustworthy he always preferred to do his work with his own hands he used to mend his own clothes and shoes he would help his wives in their household work he always wore simple and clean clothes he helped the poor orphans and widows he was kind to the weak travelers and strangers he was affectionate and loving towards his friends and children he was forgiving and merciful towards his enemies he was sincere and honest the conduct 
behavior and way of life of the holy prophet peace be upon him is the best example for all human beings to follow in their daily lives hope you all have understood now coming towards the assignment today's assignment is question true or false number 1 all aspects of the holy prophet peace be upon him have been recorded number 2 the life of holy prophet peace be upon him was unknown to his companions number 3 the holy prophet peace be upon him practiced what he preached number 4 madina is the birthplace of holy prophet peace be upon him number 5 prophet muhammad peace be upon him never cursed anyone next question is fill in the blanks number 1 holy prophet peace be upon him companions dash him dearly number 2 hazrat muhammad peace be upon him was just and honest in his dealing number 3 the holy prophet peace be upon him was a true dash of a perfect man number 4 holy prophet peace be upon him fought for the dash number 5 the life of the holy prophet peace be upon him based on the dash do the given assignment in your exercise book make sure your work should be neat and clean have a nice day